Kamala Ingrid, the Holistic Yogi. Thank you for joining me today. Please, if you're a new one, like and subscribe, and also share with your friends. The more you do this, the more you allow other people to see my content. So today we're gonna to come into a gentle flow yoga. We're also gonna add and implement some breathing work. Give yourself this, this gift of being able to have the body to move freely and just feel that energy as we get up in the morning. Okay, so let's begin. Come into a seated position comfortably. Sit. And you can also, if you have trouble with your hips, sit on a block or sit on a chair. It's okay. What we're doing is gonna be on the ground today, so there's nothing that's gonna be able to get you any um, <clears throat> challenge. We're just gonna move the body to get it ready for flow. Okay, let's start for all, open to all beginners and new mommies as well with your babies. You can go ahead and do this along with your, your children. So let's begin. As we sit up, I want your spine to be upright, your shoulders back, and allow yourself to just sit here comfortably, palms facing up, down, or just here in the center. It's all about what feels comfortable. Tuning in with your breath and filling belly to chest, expansion on that chest, and on the exhalation, allow yourself to just sigh out. Breathing in and exhale and connect with that feeling of as you're breathing in at the belly and the chest is expanding and on the exhalation that you're allowing those shoulders to just release. Releasing tension in the neck and shoulder where we sometimes, especially mothers, carry that energy and that, that stress in those areas. So I want you just to release. Allow yourself to move the body freely. As you exhale, take another deep breath. And as you exhale, we're going to now get ourselves a little bit pumped up. So let's take the hands here and we're going to do three sets of 10. So basically 30 and we're going to do this three rounds. So this will get you going. Let's take a deep breath in. And what I want you to do is as you exhale, you're bellowing out through the nose, belly pushes back in. Keep that same rhythm and flow. And then we're gonna come after we've done three sets of 10, we're going to just hold it here and just go inward, feeling and connecting with the body. Are we ready? Let's get our arms up and begin. Spine upright. Just go in and feel what is coming up for your body. How is the body responding to us? Just breath. And if your mind begins to wander, go back into just feeling the sensation of the body. two and begin. Bring yourself back and as we start the day I want you to go into gratitude. One thing that you're so grateful for. Connect with that feeling. Radiate that light, that feeling. Now, our last round, take the hands back up and begin. Bringing your hands back 
into your position. <clears throat> and just allow yourself to be in stillness, in that center of gratitude that calls you. What does it feel like for you? Go into that feeling. Feel the lightness. Feel the peace. gratitude palms to your chest as we now begin interlace your fingers and extend those arms forward and concave the chest in as we begin to move the body inhaling up lifting and lengthening exhale to the right slowly feel a stretch all on the left torso breathing in and exhale to the left breathing in and releasing the hands to the knees. Palms are pressing on top of those knees as we're now going to go into what we call a cat-cow, but we're going to do it seated. So we're going to exhale, chin to chest, cave the, the body in and inhale, and let's open up the heart. Looking up and repeat. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Roll the shoulders back. Moving the shoulders in a circular motion. Breathing and exhaling. Let's reverse it. Going forward motion with our shoulders in a big circle. Four. And breathing and pacing it. Awareness of our breath. Beautiful. Take the arms up. Exhale. Four more. Exhale. Connect with that energy. Breathing. Exhale. Again. Exhale. One more, and exhale down. Firmly planting the right palm down, six inches from your hip, and inhaling, raising the opposite arm to the ceiling, and keeping the hips and your knees pressing down. So you're feeling the stretch in that torso as you continue to breathe in deeply. You're bending the elbow on the right, allowing yourself to go deeper. Inhale, lift. And on the exhale, bring that arm up on the right. Breathing in, looking up into the palm. And exhale. We did three breaths per side. Now we're taking ourselves into a spinal twist where you take the right hand to the left knee, left hand to the back. We lift the spine, tuck the belly in, and slowly turn, gazing to the back wall. Exhale, let's allow ourselves to come back to center. Let's inhale now, take the left hand to the right knee, Right hand to the back, create a lift in the spine, and we exhale and turn. Take a deep breath in, remember now to slouch, keep the spine upright, belly tucked in. And on the exhalation, gaze into the back.
and then slowly coming back to center. Bring the heel into the groin, allowing this leg to go in a V formation. So this, both legs are extended out. One is in the groin, is, is actually bent and brought in. And you're going to just keep that foot in place. Go reach for your toes, but if you cannot reach, take a towel or take a strap, your choice. We're gonna bring that uh, two fingers onto that big toe if you can reach, and then you're gonna take that arm 90 degrees. If for those that can go a little deeper, you can bring the elbow down to the knee. And let's gaze up into that palm and really allow this knee to stay on the ground, feeling the stretch taking place into that torso. Breathing deeply, gazing up into that palm, getting that nice full range of motion into that neck as well. And then we exhale. We're gonna bring that palm right down to the floor, lifting and stretching, arching back. So our foot on the right is grounded. And then we exhale, we bring ourselves back down, reaching over to the foot, holding on. Taking those deep breaths. Bring out slowly, rise up. And now spin this leg out and bring this one in. We're going to repeat, taking the two fingers onto the big toes, taking that arm back up. Three breaths. Inhale up, bring that palm down up on your knee and lift and arch back. Breathing in deeply. And exhale, we come back down. We allow ourselves to reach now for our toes and then one our hamstring as well as the quadricep right on top because we're pulling that kneecap up. By pressing that knee down and pushing from the heel you're activating all those muscles. And inhale back. And we're going to now bring ourselves to the floor. We're gonna scoop up, scoot ourselves forward where our glute is meeting the heels, and we roll down. As we come onto the ground, I want you to just take those legs back, keep them hip width, and I want you to see that you're actually pressing here, lifting the pelvis up, keeping those palms down, exhale back down, Give me five. Exhale, roll in one vertebrae at a, time, at a time, and then inhale up, squeezing those glutes up last, and then exhale, rolling down from the top to the bottom, all the way down to the floor. Two more. Exhale. One more, pressing up, and exhale down. We're going into a reclining. Think of it like a pigeon pose, but we're gonna do it on the floor, which is a lot easier for anyone that has tight hips. We're gonna bring the knee into the chest. We take the right hand, since the right leg is crossed over, to that left side. You're going to take the hand into this little triangle you see in front of you. Reach for the knees, interlace your fingers, and drop the head down. Just make sure that you're not dropping this foot down. You wanna flex it, keep it active, and pull that leg in. Take about three breaths here. And exhale, we're gonna slowly lower down that leg down, coming into a belly twist as we now place the foot on top of the thigh. We draw the knee down to the left side and we inhale, open up, bringing that shoulder down. You wanna keep the shoulder blades grounded, looking towards the opposite side in this case as your knee comes to the left. You're gazing to the right, dropping the right shoulder and taking those nice deep breaths as you're feeling that stretch taking place into the bottom. And inhale, back up, we press the knee into the chest to decompress it back. And then go in a circle, release the leg. And let's go ahead and now bend the knees back again. This time the left one comes right on top of the right and we bring those arms, interlace them. And we hold here for three breaths. And then we exhale, 
slowly as we lower that leg down, we're going to exhale, bring that knee to the far right, and we inhale, open ourselves out, pressing the shoulder down. If your knee cannot come to the ground, you can always place a block underneath. It's okay, manage to do what you can. Just take those nice deep breaths so you can feel the stretch taking place into the hip and into the, sh into the torso and into the, also the shoulder. So take those nice deep breaths. And release it. And we're going to now gently bring those knees back into the chest, rock side to side. And we're going to go in a circle, massage in the low back, the kidneys, and reverse it. <clears throat> and we're going to now slowly allow ourselves to come into a nice relaxation pose. You can extend the legs, you can stay here with one hand on the belly, the other one into the heart center. And I want you to slowly take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, sighing out. Allowing yourself to just go inward and feel how the body feels now from releasing any tightness. Tension inward. And you feel a sense of peace and tranquility. If you feel comfortable seated, go ahead and do so seated. But just allow yourself to tune in just to the breath, connect with your breath, connect to the sensation of that breathing. Nothing more, nothing less. Then all you want to do is just connect with the breath. Fill the lungs and take that deep inhalation in. On one, two, three, four, five. At its peak, you pause. And then let's exhale up. Slowly, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Pause on five, four, three, two, one. Pause. So keep that same rhythmic flow so it sounds like this. And you feel yourself slowly sinking into your space, allowing yourself to be centered, allow yourself to ground, allow yourself to connect to the heavens above and allow yourself to be here. This is your time, your moment. Setting intentions for your day to go forward with flowing with the ever flow of life and enjoying each and every minute. For those that wish to continue to stay here in the yoga practice, go ahead and do so. For the rest of you, thank you for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe. Namaste.